My name is Delina, one of the nursing trainer from BMAX Academy. So today I am going to describe about a topic in obstetrical assessment that is GTPAL. So it is an acronym with five digit letters which will describe you about the pregnancy outcomes. That means it will help you to find out the obstetrical history of a woman. Let me explain each word. First one G. G stands for gravity. So as you all know gravida means it is a pregnant woman. So gravity means it is the total number of pregnancies including the present one. Or you can say it will describe how many times a woman has been pregnant. And we are not considering the outcome of that pregnancy. Maybe the pregnancy can end in a stillbirth or it is a live baby. So we are not considering the outcome. Only we are counting the total number of pregnancies including the present one. That is gravity. Second letter T. Then third one P. Actually these two words which is included in parity. So what is parity? Parity means the total number of birth which occur after 20th week of gestation. And it is divided into two. That is term birth and preterm birth. T for term birth. Term birth means any delivery occur after 37th week of gestation. Any delivery which occur after 37th week of gestation is known as term birth. Next one P. Preterm birth. That means any delivery occur before 37th week of gestation. So that's why it is included in parity. Next letter is A. A means the total number of abortions. So what do you mean by abortion? It means termination of pregnancy which occur before 20th week of gestation. It may be a miscarriage or a spontaneous abortion like that. So any pregnancy which terminated before 20th week of gestation. Last letter is L. L stands for living children. It means the total number of living children. We can count the triplet, quadruplet, twins and all the living children of that woman. So let me explain with an example. A 34 year old female is at present pregnant with twins. She has 11 year old triplets who were birthed at 31 weeks gestation and a 14 year old who was birthed at 42 year old who was birthed at 42 weeks gestation. 11 years ago she had a miscarriage at 9 weeks of gestation. So what is her GTPAL? Here the options are option number A G4, T1, P1, A1, L4. Option number B, G3, T1, P1, A0, L4. Option number C, G4, T1, P1, A1, L1. Option number D, G4, T1, P2, A1, L1. Okay, let us find out the correct answer. So first we will see G. G means the total number of pregnancies including the present one. So now she is pregnant. And she is having triplet birth at 31 weeks of gestation, another 14 year old child. Then she had a miscarriage at 11 years ago. So the total number of pregnancies including the present one is 4. So the score for G is 4. Next one regarding the term birth. So here it is given as she is having a child birth at 42 weeks of gestation. So it is included in term birth and T is 1. Then about preterm, she is having triplet who were birth at 31 weeks of gestation. So it is considered as preterm birth. Because we are not considering the number of children, we are only calculating the number of deliveries in parity. So it is P1, preterm 1. Next one, abortion. So here it is given as she had a miscarriage 11 years ago at 9 weeks of gestation. So total number of abortion is 1, A1. Next one, L. L means the total number of living children. She is having a triplet 
then also another 14 year old child. So the total number of children 3 plus 1 4. So L is 4. So the correct answer is option number A G4 T1 P1 A1 L4. So hope you understood the class. Thank you.